Hey guys, it's Ellie Marie. This video is just going to be me talking about some of my favorite moments of the Golden Globes 2015. One thing that I definitely learned from watching this is I really got to get into a lot of TV shows. And I still got a lot of movies I still got to see. First on my list is Joanne. She plays Anna and she won for her amazing performance in season 4 of Downton Abbey. If you know this or not, which I'm pretty sure you probably do know this already. But Downton Abbey is one of my favorite shows and it was also nominated for one of the best TV series drama. But you know, they lost. But anyway, I, it was such a surprise. I didn't expect her to win, but it was such a freaking pleasant surprise that she won. Next up, we have How to Train Your Dragon 2 won for the best animated movie. Honestly, I was expecting Big Hero 6 to take this one home because, let's be honest, Disney dominates for animation films year after year after year. But I'm very excited and happy that How to Train Your Dragon 2 won, so good job DreamWorks. Next up, we have the original sound score for a movie. If you know this or not, this has to be one of the hardest categories on me. I listen to film scores more than I listen to normal music. So this was really hard. My top three favorite film scores was The Theory of Everything, The Invitation Game, and Interstellar. But in the end of the day, The Theory of Everything won and to be honest, that film score just completely grabs my heart and it just melts it because it's just beautiful. Anyway, literally, after watching the film, I bought the sound score. It is so good. Next up, we have for best male actor, Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything. Holy cow, yes. And he was up against Benedict Cumberbatch and loads of other awesome, amazing actors as well. But I was so happy that he won. I said it in my review, he deserves an award, and darn right, he got that award. One thing that I do have to point out is the fact that the imitation game didn't win. I think that movie should have at least gotten an award for something in any department because that film was amazing. Same for Interstellar. I don't think Interstellar got, I don't, Interstellar didn't win anything actually. And I don't, I don't think it was nominated for a lot of things either. I know a lot of things went down in this award show. These were my, one of, some of my favorite things that happened in this award show. So yeah, Oscars 2015, let's bring it. Alright guys, that's all I got to say for today. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't already. I post a video every week. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Which movie represents the life you would like to live?